Hello everybody, welcome to Nago Terra Odyssey. I hope you can hear the crickets and all the critters and the breeze going through the trees. It is so gorgeous out right now. Um, it's getting kind of twilighty, so I was actually chasing the light as you can see with the cards. I love when it bounces off the grass and you get that gorgeous emerald green color. It's amazing. So today's read is going to be about what we can expect in September, like what's coming. I love September for all the wonderful, great anticipation of people going back to school, teachers going back to teach, all of those things and everybody getting excited, you know, the new wardrobe, the cooler weather, saying goodbye to humidity, all of that, you know, all those fun things that we look forward to. And I ran across these really great um, affirmations and happy phrases and things this morning and they made me feel like so good and refreshed and they were very simple they were simple things like a new day and that's basically the premise that we have an opportunity to start fresh and create new thoughts and actions every single day we have these new opportunities to strive and move closer to our goals and our visions right we've shifted seasons now when september comes in as nature is going through important shifts we get to embrace every day and open our heart and go seek out new opportunities people places and things that are on a higher vibration and I've got to tell you, it's like, don't ever feel bad that you can't sort of like get everything that you want out of a day. Like I'll give you a, for instance, today was probably the nicest weather forecast we've had in a long, long time. And I came out and I did some privates. I had to do a lot of things this morning with my daughter and run around and things. So I got all set up and then I had done almost an entire public read and my neighbor's dog came up and he's such a great little bulldog, but it was one of those things where I was so into channel and reading that he scared me and that I just automatically turned the camera off. And it was like, I don't know how to like put all the feeds together and do that. So it was like, I wasn't upset that I lost data, but that when the lighting is so beautiful and everything's so right, and instead of being disappointed, I was like, you know what, you're really tired and run down. There's something going on where, you know, I basically do work seven days a week and I've had a lot of orders and jewelry orders and reads and I was just pushing it and it was the universe's way of saying, take a break. And I am not kidding you. I went and I just laid down on the couch for what felt like five minutes and it was four hours. I just fell into a dead sleep because I was coping with a lot of people's um, anxiety and clients that were um, really having uh, some tense and harsh issues this morning, but I started too early and delved in. And then what happened was I was actually, you know, that saying, don't try to feed someone from an empty table. I was tired and getting burnt out. And that was the universe's way of saying, just stop and start over. So we need to remember to always do that when we're feeling run down or tired to just kind of put the pause button on and take care of ourselves. Okay. Because blessings are going to be continually around us all the time. And when we see them, we're grateful for them you know, how little or how much we have, there are always things to be grateful for. So it's all about perception. I was grateful for the fact that I could sit down, rest and recoup. And now I'm able to use this kind of beautiful twilight light for you guys. So I'm excited. So we have three cards to choose from. We have empowerment, grounded strength and stamina. We have number two is emergence, creation, resurrection and magician. And number three, which is destiny, divine purpose, passion and service. So we're going to see but I'm going to just pull three messages and you know, I love these for channeling. So we have choices. I love that. We have opportunity knocks, go for it. We have celebration, let go and have fun. I do see September as being a nice um, time of relaxing, kicking back, getting to reintegrate in whatever your September routine is and having nice friends. And I feel like you are going to make the best choices because you're going to really sit back, reflect and be discerning what's really important, what's really, you know, necessary, what can you let go of. It's time for clearance and kind of like filtering everything out that doesn't work. And you're going to be really excellent at that. You're going to make really choice, wonderful decisions that help you and help elevate you. Also, I feel like opportunity is going to be knocking. I feel a lot of you that are thinking of opening new businesses or just have, you're going to start to get responses that are very positive in terms of your offering and what you're making and what you're creating. And people are going to want to invest and or purchase what you have to offer because you've really, um, started to establish a little bit of, you know, foundation work and you're realizing that, you know, it takes exposure. So that's going to take off a little bit. And I feel like you're going to run into some really helpful, good people that are going to help you in that venture, as well as new friends, really tribes, 
people, soul friends, these people that you are kindred spirits with, you're going to recognize them and they you and you're going to be able to form these great friendships come September. So a lot of you going back to school, you know, get your head out of your phone and put it up in the air and look at people, make eye contact, smile, say hello. That's how, you know, meet and greet. That's how we talk to people here on planet Earth. <laughs> Celebration. This is also saying you're not going to take life so seriously. You kind of want to have that beautiful last hurrah of the warm, beautiful summer weather if you're in the northern hemisphere. Um, you're really into, I love this after August 15th is that beautiful Aquarian full moon and that's all about elevating our joie de vivre, our spice for life, trying to connect and have fun and not take things so seriously, which is super important because, you know, we need to alleviate stress in a lot of ways and for some reason a lot of people just create more because they create more work and they don't know how to stop you've seen that person right it's like they're pushing like let me use for an example if you guys you obviously know who um oh my god i know her um da -da -da -da. she's on housewives of new york and she, you know she does skinny girl and all of that and i know her name i say it all the time bethany frankel yeah so basically you know she became a multimillionaire. she's very smart she's a great businesswoman but you'll see her in some episodes where she just breaks down crying and she's like i have to let some air to the tires i have to slow down every minute of my day is booked that's what happens we get momentum going and we think well more would be great more would be more but you're realizing that isn't the case that you would like to relax and take it easy and and savor what you do have so I love this soul child. Wow. I love this and trust in the plan. Now this is saying a couple different things to me. I feel like a new soul child is coming into your family. Someone in your family is going to be giving birth or um, just, just realizing that a baby is on the way. And this is also speaking to me that some of you have your soul child coming out to play. That's your real beautiful uninhibited self your authentic self that always comes from the right dignified integrity based landscape it's that person that wants to do good they want they just are soulful they're giving they sense the energy it's almost like you know that kind of um being able to read a room and realize who needs things and you bringing up the energy in that like a happy child with that fresh innocent wonderful energy that we all have you're going to really tap into that and that's beautiful because it's so freeing because you're not trying to be something you're not or you're not trying to people please you're just being your authentic self and getting so much joy and light from that also trust in the plan you're no longer trying to struggle and and or feeling like things have to be a struggle or like you have to push very hard you realize that when we go with the flow we realize everything doesn't have to be so exacting. Things will occur in their own sweet time that we don't have to over plan, rush, or go um, absolutely bonkers for things. I think that you're going to really understand that sometimes when we sit back is when things happen, when we have a healthy detachment. And that's a lot's going to happen for you September in a lot of beautiful ways. And your last card is Call of the Dancing Crane. This is about you listening to your intuitive self saying, you know, let go, be free of this. You're going to feel really expressive with your words, with your body, everything, you know, dancing, painting, all of the, the lovely sort of latent skill sets that sometimes we don't even know we have until we really let go and we become more free and we become more of our natural selves, not ones that we think are observed or people are judging us. Where we're just 100% ourselves. So I'm going to take a deep, deep breath. <laughs> I do recognize sometimes when I listen to my videos that as the ideas come in and I'm channeling, I can start to speed up with them. But what I'm really trying to do is create a relaxed atmosphere for you to receive these messages. And I actually like a slower cadence of speech. It makes me feel more relaxed and there's less pressure. So this is really group one going to be a, a major manifestation time. Your dreams and visions through knowing any and everything you want is already here is really waiting for you to just experience it. You know, through your power of your energy, your thoughts and your affirmations, whatever you believe, you're going to be able to create it. You're not doubting anymore. And you know, it's going to be lots of sparks, lots of intuition, lots of soulmates, tribes, people, kindred spirits coming in. So that is really beautiful group one. I love that. And also new, a new new children or child in the family as well or you being more childish free happy and light which is really beautiful and i like that you're going to be stepping back and being more discerning in your choices you're going to realize you don't have to make snap decisions you get to take your time which is lovely right so now we have emergence creation resurrection and magician this is again this is about manifestation for you you know 
Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I if I said to you guys too, just in case you don't know how the process works and if this is the first time you've ever chimed in. Thank you for um, watching my channel. If you like, all the um, buttons are there to like and subscribe and also the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come in. And there's a little gray arrow at the bottom right. If you want to go see all my information for my Patreon page, my Etsy store, I create handcrafted jewelry and all kinds of fun things. Um, you can come see me on Instagram. I do daily posts and memes. Sometimes I forget about that because sometimes there are completely new fresh viewers and they don't know what all these buttons and, and things are for. So there's a mini tutorial. Okay, so number two, I feel absolutely that you have a lot of dreams that you're working on, a lot of visions and ideas that you are starting the formulas for and you're starting to really get momentum behind them. And here's, here's a course of action I took. I was working in a job that I liked the job itself. However, I did not like the environment and people around me and how their professionalism was just pretty much non-existent. And it was terrible because what happens is when the lion's share of work falls to one or two responsible people there, they get exhausted and they get burnout because everybody else decides they'll call in. They don't want to do this, you know, and it gets, uh, it gets very difficult to work through that. So what I did was I, or I, I made really strict boundaries and I said if this that and that happen again or or my my boss who doesn't really care about anybody says this or does this I am leaving on the spot and that those actual things happen I actually asked my guides and angels for specific signs because I kind of knew intuitively it was time that I really chased my dreams and what I wanted which is this and full-time working on my jewelry tarot and my channel and it just came about that way so start to ask for guidance start to ask for clues and um, hints from your angels and guides so they can help you as well because there's nothing more worthy than spending our time on what our true purpose is and what we love the most right that we seek joy out of I feel too it's going to be a heavy attraction time what you're feeling and vibrating is really going to start to collect power and momenting and if you act and think just like what you want to attract you know happy high vi happy high vibrations good intentions all of those things it starts to come back to you and you no longer feel like you're waiting for things they simply arrive so i'm going to pull your first two cards Here are the other ones i'm like da -na 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 -na. oh yeah very nice. So the Orchid Priestess of Destiny and Divine Talents are talking about your divine talents. You act, you actually have some latent abilities or things you're just starting to understand and you can actually receive a viable source of income from them and spend the majority of your day doing it and have it actually be your vocation in life. And this is your time of destiny and it's calling and saying, be awake to that fact, whether it's musical, whether it's lyrics, whether it's um, Reiki, painting, light working. Um, any of those things, building, architecture, I feel I'm just, I'm hearing a lot of building blocks, building blocks, um, gardening, um, horticulture, crystal shops, things of that nature, online shops, really go for you. It's your time. Destiny is calling you. September, you're really going to heed this call and understand that we're put here to experience life in the best, most authentic way. And what's more authentic than doing what we really, really love and is is something we would love to do all day and we would never tire of it okay I had to I, it took me so many years to cotton on to this because we get in the whirlwind of working for other people and we just get so busy in that vortex we don't even realize that we're we are helping other people live their dreams through our blood sweat and tears and what we should be doing is helping us fulfill our destiny and our dreams you know by putting our back into what's best for us right we sometimes just get sidetracked like that we think through you know subconscious programming we have to work for other people it's more structured it's this it's that uh, no it's not people that really have visions of where they would like their life to be and how they want to live it and you start to direct yourself that way get the results I love this because I feel like you're gonna be more centered and balanced you're really gonna be able to manipulate time in a way that gives you the most power and access to your greatest abilities I had to actually hone my talent with that because I was afraid like a lot of people are that they're gonna invest their time on wisely right they'll be watching too much TV if they're self-employed they'll be you know out shopping they won't um, be able to have like risk assessment all those things that are told to you when you work for somebody else however it is if it's something you love you want you want it to be um, continual so you do put in the time you want it to be beautiful you want it to be worthy valuable offering so you put in the effort and I feel like you it's gonna pay major dividends so please please 
know that you can do this. Now this is very interesting to me because I feel like this is the soulmate card. When I feel that this soulmate of yours is a star child. They are absolutely 100% divinely guided towards you they are almost like a mystical magical being in that they have very very spiritual beliefs and everything they're 100 percent authentic this person does not lie cheat does not try to get ahead or try to seem a certain way they simply are this beautiful pure form of giving loving light i feel like the environment that they were in was just very conducive to letting them shine and be original and they feel a sense of confidence and love in the world and they're going to help provide that with you and i feel like they're just going to kind of glide into your life effortlessly because you've already set down the foundations and the envisionment process for this and you're bringing them in towards you so a lot of you guys i mean a very large percent that chose this your soulmates are coming in september october due to the fact you have put in the effort the work and you're believing in the whole process of it and that's a very important aspect where people can't just go oh i want this and then sit there and doubt and go where is it where is it and try to push and struggle and all of that this is something that you're just allowing now so it's going to flow in with ease which is really beautiful i'm going to pull a few tarot on this too i'm doing each individual read if you want to watch all of them quite differently i'm pulling different cards i'm using different styles i just feel really compelled to do this in a um, very loose and free way and as I hear things I'm just grabbing cards all right yeah see so beautiful we have the knight of cups <coughs> wow double knights and knight of pentacles this is very interesting yes this specific love match is really cool what I'm, if you've watched my other videos you know that I classify the knights as people of being filled with integrity, very humble, very authentic, filled with um, honesty and somebody you can count on, very respectful and deserving of respect. So this person as well have accumulated some wealth and some great emotional knowledge along their trail. So they understand how to read emotions, how to dress them wisely, balanced and fairly. They are very they will be very concerned with how you feel and, and wanting to make any adjustments along the way in a very mature fashion. So this person t together an all around star when it comes to um, just being grounded, and having their act together, um, being very reliable, dependable and trustworthy. You know, somebody who does not think that the grass is greener, they don't want to cheat, they don't want to go out there, they're never going to make you feel ineffectual, less than or unvalued, which is the knight's energy, right? It's very, you know, Arthurian where you, you feel cherished, you feel like a prince or princess. And I love that energy for you. It's important, right? Um, oftentimes it's like we go through highs and lows and have somebody who is just a beautiful stalwart, beautiful human being by our side is a wonderful, wonderful asset. So I love that information for you, group two, beautiful energy. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. My name is Melanie Williams. Thank you so much for coming and watching my videos. I love this artwork. This is, um, Kokoli. Um, I, I, I think it's Sicily. I'll, I just, I can't remember names right now. I went through this aspect today where I just exhausted myself and my brain is having a freeze on names. Even if I know them readily, like I can't, this is beautiful. Isn't this card amazing? Yeah. I feel like you're going to have this wonderful, mag magnificent, um, manipulation of, of time and energy and be able to just really use it as a portal of success and bring in what you want group to so beautiful. And again, all my link are down below. If you need a private read, um, every single thing you can imagine is down there. So now, yeah, and go check out the goddess provisions box. It's off the hook this month. I'm so impressed with the, with the, um, medicine singing bowl and all of the goodies that came in there. I love it. So now we're on to number three, which is destiny, divine purpose, passion, and service. This is, I fear I am keenly, keenly hearing acts of service. I feel like a lot of this is for specific light workers, healers, nurses, people in the medical field, people in the holistic healing field, people that deal with gems, crystals, tarot, anything like that. I feel like your divine purpose is really going to shine through this month and you're going to get a lot of extra kind of like celestial pats on the back that let you know you're on the right track. You're doing what is important. You're doing good work. People acknowledge that. I'll give you, you know, a, a for instance today, I was I was kind of, I was suffering burnout early in the morning because I started work too early and I had too many clients that were, um, just, you know, feeling so low on life. And sometimes I feel almost like, um, I'm a full buffet table, but as I hand out everything, my table gets more and more empty. And then by the end of it, I'm starving and I literally can collapse. I pushed it too hard this morning. So then I said, you know what, just lay down. And I literally passed out for like four hours in a dead sleep. 
and now you know I woke up and I felt great but I had to stop because I, sometimes I always want to answer the call and this is however the first thing I read when I woke up just made me almost cry it was someone that's saying you know you have Melanie you've actually like turned and shifted my perspective around so my life is on such an upward swing you know of that nature and I, I get a, quite a few of those but a lots of times it's like they it's like they're phrased different but this particular one was just phrased where to know that you make a difference in some way shape or form just even in one life forget about hundreds or thousands that somebody actually has a positive trajectory in their world because of something you said and did and they were able to transmute that energy into optimism hope and success like blows my mind and that because that is the whole purpose of this channel it is absolutely the whole purpose is to let us get a new perspective and realize everything is perspective what to one person Person is an absolute tragedy to someone who's more well reasoning is just a minor inconvenience you know what I mean we are the situations that we create and we create them from our perspective so let's always make it simplified and as I'm saying this like dragonflies are going crazy around my yard all right oh nice the two of cups love offerings Ooh, yay um Let's see, and then we have the full. You have a lot of wild stuff going on here. Two of wands, lots of twos here. That's gonna be your lucky numbers. You're gonna have two, two, twos everywhere. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles as well. So you guys, I'm feeling too with this Two of Cups, this full energy, you're going to be feeling lighter, brighter, free, or like really carefree. Just going in and doing whatever sort of catches your fancy and you're going to be able you're going to have a lot of magnetism and charm and you're actually going to be pulling in a lot of love and suitors and soulmate energy you're really projecting that with this two of cups you're awake to the fact that when you hold up your head you talk you have confidence you um, exert a little bit of charm and effort that things start to move towards you because as we know that we have to have we have to have a little effort in order to get results and a lot of people just think well if I daydream this you know if I envision it it's coming no there is also effort behind it and you're you've cottoned on to that but because you're doing it in an easy breezy fun innocent authentic way this kind of magic and this alchemy is taking place where all of a sudden things are falling into place for you your path is becoming so much smoother life has a lot of ease and fun style and whimsy to it you're really you know getting into the fun things that you wanted to you know art and music and cool people and your original tribes people and kindred spirits all of these things and I also feel like you have um, better resources coming in for a more monetary intake I feel like you'll be having more money in September as well this Pentacles is like you're just realizing where some of your talents lie and that there is definitely a revenue stream that can be involved with that quite easily so if you have any artistic flair creative flair really just start to focus in on that because that's what it is it's our focus right where our focus and energy goes is where we we get our results I know that when I start making pieces and I start to advertise and get it out there my Etsy shop really thrives but when I let it sit a little stagnant for a while a few you know weeks and I don't put in new pieces and I don't talk about them it sits still you know right it needs energy it needs infuses of infusements of energy so remember to do that I'm really loving this too because you're looking out onto your near future and also your um, long-term goals and futures and when we have an idea of what we want then we know where to go and what to do right a lot of times it's like people don't know what they want that's the big problem they're like well I think I want this but I don't want that and they do a lot of second guessing they do a lot of haphazard um, placement of energy yeah look you're setting your goals right now beautiful you're moving forward you're getting ready for this positive change I feel like you will 100% be removing some people places and things decluttering in every sense of the word because you're realizing there's some heavy energy around you there's some things that are distracting you and you no longer need them you're gonna be really sensitive to negative people and realizing that that has to be removed you don't want to be around that energy you're not gonna want clutter anything dust is gonna to start to bother you I know that sounds crazy but I feel like you're gonna look around your home and when you see dust and stuff it's going to start to irritate you if you see mold or anything that is not like fresh and crispy it's going to irritate you because you you're wanting this clean slate new day energy and you're realizing that you in the form of our thoughts and your emotions and intentions your greatest 
greatest determinator of what you attract and pull into your life is what you are setting your intentions for and you just you want everything fresh and new and bright and you're ready to go and you know you're setting your goals and I feel like you would be a great great leader in whatever you're doing I feel like you're great at delegating you have a gentle touch you have a masterful mind when it comes to business when you want to and number one is just trusting your intuition go with this beautiful flow of energy you're going to be able to be so successful like beyond your wildest dreams seriously I feel like when you determine it is what you want and you start to set that path that that excitement for the future that excitement to go and have this extra course at school to um, go say hello to these people in this group and go to these concerts and do these things it's going to build this kind of like great anticipation within you and you're just going to build from there and it's going to snowball and then you're going to be picking up a little success here a little success there and all these little successes are going to let you know all along that you had all these um, requisite skills that you needed to become a success and it was basically just to see some good results right and then go and build from there that's how I'm doing what I'm doing today I didn't say I need to be successful within 30 days you know I things just started to accumulate and then I felt confident from there and then I studied more brought in more information more um, supplies and just started to expand and that's that's where you're gonna go for and you're going for it in a really big way which is beautiful and you're gonna you know you're gonna be really staying true to who you are your soul you're gonna listen for your soul's urge the more you resist intuition the more resistance life sort of throws at you right so there's nobody like you so stay true to yourself and where you're going and what you're doing it really really listen to your intuition because it's guiding you beautifully and it's going to just come to you with ease and really point you in the the most beautiful futuristic direction direction that you didn't even think was possible as things kind of unfold it's like don't let fear come in that oh my god because once success starts you're like well what if i can't keep this up you absolutely are going to be able to find a very doable momentum and it's just going to be like this awesome runaway train of success so i'm very excited for your group three that's so beautiful look at all this beautiful energy if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for watching my video i'm very excited to have you over here and to my regular subscribers i appreciate you guys so much thank you for your beautiful comments and your participation i'm always so happy when i'm reading you know your new successes and your new loves and goodies like that it gets me you know it gets me very cheerful and in a great mood so all my links are also down below if you need a private read or anything and thank you everybody for um you know sending in your requests for private reads and joining my patreon page and supporting the channel i love and appreciate you guys so much so the twilight light is starting to fade i just wanted to capture it because it was so beautiful out here but love and light september is going to bring such good tidings it is you know the month of harvest so you're going to be harvesting great results friendships and abundance